Hey gang, FLX Beer Reviews, back with another episode of As the Beer Swirls. My name is Dan. My name is Mike. Dan, I love this can. What are we drinking? Uh, the color on this can is a beautiful I color. want a pickup truck for this color. Yes. Uh, this is from Stoneface Brewing Co. Okay. This is their double dry hopped full clip. Ooh. It is a New England IPA coming in at 6.5 ABV. Ooh, hey, no. It says Tom Brown Ale. I like Tom Brown. I worked with him. Canned on 6-3-22, so we're <laughs> three, three weeks Super. old. Super. Uh, not Super even. Fun. Holy jeez. Uh, brewed on the seacoast in Newington, New Hampshire. All right. Now. Where do we get this beer? Uh, Bumpy Road Brewery. That guy yeah. is a kind uh, and generous fella. Go check out his YouTube channel. Does a Please. bunch of 50-point inspections. Uh, big on the, the live streams. Yes, he uh, is. Multi-group uh, beer inspections. Yep. So, Bumpy Road Brewery. Go sit. Yeah. All right, let's get into this beer. <laughs> we'll lick it double. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I am excited to drink this beer. We have uh, we've had a couple beers that uh, Bumpy sent us today, and they have been freaking oh. great. He, okay. that guy said, All right, for six point five ABV, that looks super thick. Like it's it's. I almost want to say this is the beer he was drinking. I'm just like, saying, like, night. like here's the thing. Like yeah. sometimes you pour a hazy yeah, IPA, it's... and you have preconceived notions based on like how sure. it looks. And... Sure. Look at that. Oh, it's like a milk oat pour. Oh my gosh. Um, okay, so that is super hazy. It's super thick. Uh, nice, fluffy, wow. rocky head on it. That's like, a milky. It looks great. That's a creamy, milky boy. It looks outstanding. I'm going to give it a nice swirl before we get a whiff here, before Dan gets secret smells. Uh, let's get a whiff, buddy. Oh, that is hey. potent as well. That is floral grapefruit. Grapefruit, but it's got a tropical citrus to it. Uh, yep. Wow. So the look. Oh, man. Looks like an 8.5. The smell smells like an 8.5. Okay. The label says 6.5. The label may be lying. Uh, this smells wow. like a sunny tropical beach. There's some passion fruit. Oh, yeah, there is. Oh, my goodness. Passion fruit, little uh, mango, kiwi, gooseberry, maybe. Ooh. Gooseberry. Uh, this aroma is so oh, relaxing. It's all the tropicals. Tropical. Like it, all the tropicals. It's just tropical. Wow. Think of tropical, and that's what this okay, smells like. Okay, uh, 6.5, I had preconceived notions. I'm not going to lie. It smells heftier. Big time. <laughs> you want to guess that? Yeah, he's so dude. Uh, we don't know the hops in this. We looked it up. Neither the brewery nor on tap nor like beer app. Nowhere there's like they don't list. So hops. basically, there's no hops in this beer. It's like it's like Colonel Sanders. It's a, it's a secret recipe. Well, well, why the secrets, Bumpy? Tell, uh, tell us what's going on. Up yeah. There. Uh, uh, yeah. Thanks, Bumpy. Cheers. Mm. Whoa. <laughs> okay. That's pillowy soft. That is airy. It's dancing around. It's it, it's light waves crashing on the tropical beach of your palate. 6.5, really. No way. This is 8. It, it does drink a, a bit thin. Does it? Oh, what else? No, 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 no. Here, let, me, let me back up. Boop, boop, boop. Put it in park. Uh, for 6.5, it doesn't drink thin, but for the appearance, the smell, what it looks like, it just, to me, it, I guess I say it drinks thin because I still think this is an eight and a half double. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Dude, it drinks like one. Wow. So much um, grapefruit. You're right. This is, there should be umbrellas and fruit stabbed right. on the side of this glass. It's like, it's tropical, but it, the grapefruit all day. We're in the back. Through it, it runs through into like a this this pithy rind. Yes, yes. I was gonna say the grapefruit rind, the leaves on the grapefruit, they are all there just to give us a nice bittering aspect to remind you that it's not just juice. Mm. I really like it's this. sort of stripping the saliva out of my mouth. A little it's freaking 
Not really. But this is nice. This is I, I am blown away. To be honest. I'm getting I'm getting hot. Now if this was eight what? I'm getting hot burned off this. There's a little hot burn. A little hot burn. Okay, so continue. If this was eight if this was eight point five, it'd be like, yeah, that's good. But what's blowing me away is six point five. You could you could bring a four pack to the beach and just enjoy it. Like six three a week and a half ago. Full disclosure, we're end of June almost. At the time of filming. Yeah, we're like two and a half weeks out. So I don't know. I don't know if what another would week or two yeah. would let this it sit, might. or maybe that's just the way it is. Honestly, I think it would only get better. Mm. Like I like this now. I can only imagine it's what so it would impactful. be. You no, know this reminds me of the impactfulness of. Hmm. Remember burning with gas from Dewey? How could I not? We drank a lot of that. Yeah, that was that's so what it good. reminds me of. Uh, it, it reminds, of, for some reason, all green everything is coming okay. to mind. All right. um, what, do you, what hops do you think are in this? Oh. I gotta say there's Citra all, all day. Simcoe? Citra, Simcoe. Touch of Galaxy, maybe? Galaxy, maybe, yeah, okay. I don't know. Could be wrong, but... Is it almost fun not knowing... It is, it is, because you have preconceived notions, like, you can't help but have preconceived notions. Oh, it's got Nelson, where's my white wine, where's right, my white right. grapes? It's got Motueka, where's my lemon lime? Oh, it's got Strata, where's my strawberry? It's a weird, it's a weird crossroads to be at, whereas, like, as we review beers, I want to know more about hops, but at the same time, I don't, because I, I get, we get those preconceived notions, so it's kind of nice not knowing we're just getting the flavors we're getting. Man, this is a real treat. Mm hmm I would like more of their beer. Yeah, but it, it, it's 6.5. That's what's mind-boggling to me. That's what's crazy to me. This, this beer's great. It's, um, it's, it's few and far between. I'll, I'll put it that way. It's few and far between that you get this type of flavorful impact and, and on the nose. And a and like and a look completely just opaque. Like this thing looks like a triple. It it does. It's insane. It's voodoo. Wow. It's it's opening up even more as it warms. There, there's other the the drying aspect is becoming something different. I just got now. It sounds terrible, but I'm getting like a waxy cran. Kind of aroma and a taste okay. to it, but it's good. It's like a tr if you were going to eat tropical crayons. Man. This is something. This is different. And um, it's staying with you, though. That bitterness on the end. Very much that, so. That pithy grapefruit nothing, sting. Nothing is... And again, going back to the low ABV, you would think everything would just fall away really quick and you'd have to go back and forth. This is drinking like a higher... ABV beer, like everything is just kind of, you know what it's doing? It's relaxing in that chair on the beach mm. and just settling. Oh, when in. I'm sipping, I'm taking very minimal sips. Oh, yeah. it's so so impactful. Wow. Okay. Well, four five, four five all day. Yep. Okay. Well done. Here's the thing. Friend of the channel. Mm -hmm. Earmuffs, please. Your boss. Friend of the channel, Rajopolis. I know he's a triple guy. He's a double guy. <laughs> Hates singles. Oh, what just happened? My ears kind of uh, bleeding. A little bit. That's weird. I think he would think this Fs. If you know what I mean. It has, it has intercourse? Yes. Okay. With his taste buds. No, seriously. This is so impactful. Oh, man. All right. Uh, down description below. Bumpy Road Brewery. Check out his channel. If you don't like his channel... <sighs> There's something wrong with you because he's got great 50 point inspections on beers. Goes deep into way dives. detail. He deep, actually like deep dives. he actually reviews beer. We just talk about beer. Yeah, we're just hanging out and talking. Yeah, that, but that's what we do. He goes on a whole other level. So. FLX beer reviews on Instagram. FLX beer reviews on Twitter. FLX beer reviews on YouTube. Uh, untapped. I got one. You got one. I got one. Yeah. Okay. We're there. It's there. Right, uh, right, leave right. us a comment, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna go finish this. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers. Uh, just.